Hey guys, I'm at the first entrance of the building groups of Meizhou Mazu Temple. Today, I'm going to show you around this temple. But first of all, you must wonder, who is Mazu? Let me tell you. Follow me. Mazu was a young woman named Lin Mo, who is believed to have lived during the 10th century on Meizhou Island, where she dedicated herself to helping people in need. She died at the age of 27, attempting to rescue shipwreck victims. She was deified, and locals regarded her as the goddess of the sea who could bring peace, wealth, and good luck. Before heading to the sea, fishermen and sailors would venerate her statue and pray for her protection, in the hope they would return home safely and with a big catch. Stories about Mazu bringing safety, harmony, and prosperity were told among her followers for more than 1,000 years. She has become an inspiration to many to overcome the hardships during sea voyages. She also represents the spirit of integrity, benevolence, and love. That is the Imperial Attic Gate. Just like its name, this is where the imperial addicts that praised Mazu were announced. When officials from the imperial government passed through this gate, the civil officers should get off the sedan chair, while the military officers should dismount from the horse. Palace, the most sacred temple in the eyes of Mazu followers. It was built in 987 AD. Let me show you around. Hanging in the center of the hall is a plaque written by the Emperor Yongzheng of the Qin Dynasty. The words Shen Zhao Hai Biao means that Mazu followers are scattered around the world. The mural on the right painted the story of Zheng He, a famous navigator of the Ming Dynasty, who voyages across the South Seas as far as Africa. The mural on the left recorded the story of General Shi Lang's recovering Taiwan in the Qin Dynasty. There are two statues enshrined in the hall. The front one is called Jing Shen Mazu. Behind it is a clay statue much bigger and heavier. Whenever Jing Shen Mazu goes on Xun An, it means having a tour beyond Meizhou Island. The back statue will temporarily receive worship from the believers. I'm taking you guys to one of the most important landmarks on Meizhou Island. But first of all, I got a surprise for you. Please look to your right. Pretty, isn't it? Here we are. It is the tallest statue on Major Island. This stone statue was laid on September 9, 1987, to commemorate the 1,000th anniversary of Mazu's emergence of ascending to heaven. There are two statues in total. One is in Major Temple. The other is in Chaotian Palace in Taiwan, which symbolizes the common wish of the followers on two sides to reunite. This statue is 14.35 meters high, which represents the 14.35 square kilometers of lands on Major Island. It consists of 365 pieces of granite. It means that Mazu will bless every inch of this land every day. As trade flourished in ports along the ancient Maritime Silk Road, more and more Chinese ventured out to the sea, taking silk, tea, and China, and their belief in Mazu to lands beyond their own shores. Mazu is now estimated to have more than 300 million followers in 47 countries and regions around the world. It also has become a must for visitors who come here to see the stone statue of Mazu and make wishes. <laughs> 